rubbish. You had discarded it. It was not rubbish. I intended to use it. Please, calm down. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. With Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun. What did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return? Exactly. Yes. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play prax, Holger? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law. 
Whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, by all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <gasps> I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jovik Shire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. I wonder how Hafton fares, now that he sits on the throne. Hmm. Moira may know where Hafton... Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with his beloved Bayonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moria. Pitteringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough.
Nothing but snow, silent as a corpse in its grave. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. You kept this from me! It was no secret. Abba knew. Did he not... Leave me! I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Eivor. I'll find your hammer. And then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. What do you see? I call on you, nay, demand of you. Send me a home gang champion to test my might. Your champion comes crawling back, Loki Rabbit. Good. Let's see you, old friend. There's Bjornsson, guarding the hammer. Needs his hammer. Lighthouse. Hafton awaits.
This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Halfton. Remember that next time. <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago, in the East. And this is the West, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. Now he drinks at our father's side, awaiting the war at the end of days. Peyoton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. The last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see and let it burn. 